what it do youtube it's your girl always nigeria coming at you today with another video to those of you who are a member of the squad i thank you so much for once again joining your girl for those of you who are new i hope that you like subscribe comment and share and i just want to welcome you to the gang welcome you to the squad with that being said, uh, to those of you who aren't new to my channel, you know every so often when I'm super, super busy and I have somewhere to be, I do a car chronicle. Um, I love car chronicles for one, they're, well, they're as quiet as they can be considering the outside conditions and whatnot. But I love the fact that, um, you know, I get to do them and go about my merry way. So if I'm ever doing a car chronicle, I'm not typically looking at the screen, obviously, because I'm driving. So I only look at it when I'm in a red light. So y'all just have to get used to that. But with that being said, it's your girl's first day as a registered nurse under my own license. And I'm excited, but not excited at the same time. I'm not excited because obviously, you know, you don't just go straight in and get on the floor. Um, the first two days, I know for a fact, I'll be sitting in a room like a, a meeting room um doing paperwork going through modules learning a system and things like that so the first two days are really actually just going to be pretty much boring standard you know how you go to a job you typically just go straight in get on the floor because it's not like a healthcare provision uh profession is like you know if i was to go operate or work at i don't know a clothing salon or a nail shop or whatever you know what i'm saying i would go straight to the floor um even if i was to operate or work as a cna or a pct you know you go straight to the floor like you don't have to do a um long orientation so i have two days of orientation that i have to deal with um as far as being in the classroom but then i have 12 weeks of orientation where I'll be getting, you know, where I'll be precepting or, you know, be a pre preceptee. I guess that's what it would be. Um, a trainee, a preceptee. A, yeah. Because I am a new grad, so I am a new nurse. This is my first time operating as a nurse under my own license. So I'm no longer going into these, um, these hospitals operating under an instructor's license. Um, you know, I'm under my own license now, so... Um, with that being said, your girl got to make sure she's super safe, super careful, things like that. So they give you 12 weeks of training. If you don't need the entire weeks, they don't make you take it. If they see that you're safe and if, you know, they're confident in your abilities and you're confident in your abilities, then of course they let you take the 12 weeks. Um, or I'm sorry. Then of course they let you, you know, get done with training early and go out and be on your own you know go fly little birdie fly but if you're not confident in you you know or even if you are confident but you just want to take full advantage of the fact that even though you're operating under your own license you still have somebody to help you you know if you get stuck and things like that um you know that's always good too so i don't know which one i'll choose yet um obviously it's my first day so i'm not gonna say like i'm not confident at all right now um just because of the fact that you know when you're a student you're under somebody else's license and you know you got your teacher there typically telling you not necessarily telling you what to do because they don't always necessarily come straight in the room with you um typically when you're a nursing student um especially when you get to your second and third uh semester you're pretty much on your own besides like with medicine because the teachers have to sign off so like doing dressings changes and things like that your instructor may or may not come in there with you um they may come in there with you the first few times just to make sure that they're confident in your ability and that you're you know confident and you don't have any questions but other than that they just tell you which patients you have and you go care for your patients but you still have the comfort of knowing that if you have any questions or anything like that you have your instructor and and you know that's always a comfort now when you're precepting you still have the comfort of knowing you have someone there teaching you the ropes teaching you around their facility teaching you their ways except like i said you have your own license now so it's not like you know you have somebody to shield you and things like that you're super super you are protective over other people's license because for one you know if you were doing wrong you would flunk and you didn't want to flunk because you you know you wanted to pass but 
you're going to be super, super careful because you're operating under your own license and you didn't work this hard and come this far for you to mess up and get your license revoked. So that's the, the main thing here. Um, so yes, I'm excited and um, I'm going to the ICU department. Um, that's the, the job that I took, the ICU. Um, I'm very interested in the ICU because they are critically ill. I was either ER or ICU all the way. Another reason that I chose ICU um, is because I want to be a certified registered nurse anesthetist. And one of the requirements for even joining their program or going into their program is that you have to be a registered nurse and you have to have one year of experience in the ICU one year of experience in the ER or two years of experience in the ER and two or two years in the ICU so I'm gonna try to get my one year um in the ICU and then I may switch to the ER or I'll get just two years of experience in the ICU you know I do like the hustle and bustle of the ER um it's fast paced things like that um but those patients aren't necessarily I mean you know, people go to the, the ER all the time talking about they critically ill. They can have a dang on headache. Well, that is a bad sign. Not necessarily a bad sign, but, you know. If you come in there complaining about a headache, we need to check you out. Especially if your vital signs are showing, you know, there's some issues. But people come in there with, like, a little little bitty laceration. Like, baby, this is a paper clip. You need to go home and put a Band-Aid on this. Like, why are you at the ER? But, you know, that's neither here nor there. I do love the hustle and bustle of that. It's like get them in get them out Tran you know get them in triage them transfer them to somebody else but with the icu it's more they're so critical they're on a lot of the times they're on ventilators and you know they can decompensate which means they can just go down very very fast and so it is a challenge of knowing if they're decompensating when they're decompensating what to do how to notice it who to notify because now you're the nurse so they expect for you to know what to do um and only come at the doctor at the last minute like yeah you can call them hey such and such and such and room you know room such and such was diagnosed with x y and z they're you know they were having these issues but now these issues are occurring their current vital signs are x y and z um i recommend this that and a third can you put this order in <laughs> like they want you to be able to come the doctors literally are there to write you an order like but you're the one that's telling them what you need them to write because they're not in there with the patients, you know, taking care of them all day. Doctors come in at the very last minute when you need them because you need their orders or hell, sometimes they don't even come in. If they're confident in your abilities, they'll just put the order in over the computer from where they're at or from their phone, wherever they're at. They could be at home and be like, okay, such and such got it. She know what she doing. He or she knows what they're doing. Um, I'm confident in their assessment. You know, just call me back if X, Y, and Z occurs. You know what I'm saying? Or if they decompensate more and we'll take it from there. Or let me know if you need someone to actually see that patient. Um, but other than that, it's you. It's you. And so that's what makes it so nerve-wracking, especially as a new nurse. Especially those of us who graduated after COVID because our clinicals weren't that great. Because we had a year of clinicals online. And then we had... Um, <laughs> like one clinical maybe one or two clinicals you know back in session but your clinicals are never the same so what you could have missed or what you did miss you know going online you're not going to get that opportunity again unless you go to that department like peds was a my peds clinical was so boring like literally we just went to a school like who wants to do that like literally that's all we did but um let me see. Yeah, we just like went to a school. But for um Oh my god, y'all know I'm driving. I'll be having to look at the road. I have to take care of what I'm doing. I have to look at the road because I made a wrong turn. Sorry. Hold up made a wrong turn i was going to the guest um parking lot girl forgot i worked here for a minute okay i was going into the little guest bag i need to be going into the employee a lot yes for the employee thank you god um Uh, 
um yeah so you know it's just nerve-wracking i've heard all nurses say that so it's not just me it's not just me thank god but i am excited and then like i said these two days full of freaking paperwork and learning their system and things like that will obviously take some nerves off but i get nervous again once i'm walking onto the unit but i'm excited nonetheless just like when you start nursing school and you're doing your clinicals for the first time and you're like what do i do i don't know what to expect da, da, da. but then you get done you move you know you push through and then eventually you become a nurse of your own This gotta park. This gotta park. So that was it. That was that's it for my car chronicle. I'm actually at work now, and I'm about to run up in here. Can't be late on the first day. So thank you guys for watching. This is just the first part. I may come in, you know, add a little clip during um during uh work, and I may do one after. So I'll let you know. I might not though because it is the fact that it's simply just um you know. It is simply just training paperwork. So, thank you for watching. Come again. So excited. I shipped my first Etsy order out today. So, shout out to my first customer.